Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Uncle Matt's Cooker Lessons with a classic French duck confit. Hello, in this video I'm going to be making duck confit or confit a duck. I don't really know which way you're supposed to say it. Duck legs are going to be submerged in duck fat and cooked very, very slowly. It's very rich, absolutely delicious. The meat is the perfect way to cook a duck leg in my opinion. I'm going to be curing it for 24 hours or so. I've got some salt, herbs and some juniper. Um, that's not absolutely essential, but it does make a difference to draw some of the moisture out. I don't need to talk about it anymore at this stage. I think we'll just get on and do it. And I think you're gonna really like this one. All right, so what few ingredients that would, would sort of be described as a recipe will be in the description below, but this is a technique video. So removing excess fatty skin. It's very, very fatty, a duck which is what makes it more lovely. But you do need to get rid of some of that because you won't want to be eating that. But there's a, a knack for rendering the fat out. And I will share a link in the description below to a video I did on this a while ago and also ended up getting these wonderful duck scratchings. So if you've had pork scratchings and like them, you'll be wanting to watch that video. So that's the last of the, the, the fatty duck skin. The fatty duck skin. Now some herbs. So these are options, you know. This is what I've got in my garden. I've got some thyme, I've got some rosemary, so I'm just stripping that. I'm going to chop that up roughly. That's more than enough there. Give that a little chop there. And I know it's a little critter there that he's, I didn't even notice. Uh, whoops. Now he's in there, so um, I've inadvertently ate the bugs. <laughs> I'm all right. I survived. And those are juniper berries. If you're not familiar with those, that's sort of like the main flavor of gin very very nice and it, it does go very very nicely with the stuck so again just giving them a bit of a rough chop up that's our dry rub ready you could use star anise cloves you could put no spice in there at all cardamom you can get quite creative with this so this isn't like a, a full-on cure like we're making duck ham or something this is just contact time about 24 hours you can go less so you can be really generous with the salt. It's not going to matter. So I haven't put, I haven't specified an amount. I'm just really giving it a thorough covering with the salt and the herbs and stuff. I've decided I'm going to put it that way in this dish. I'm going to cover that, and that's going to go in the fridge until the next day. So that's that done. This is dead easy. This is not complicated, but it you know, takes a while. But you can skip that step. You can just cook them straight away in the duck fat. It won't be quite as nice, but it'll still be very nice. You see some water came out there. Um, wash them thoroughly. So really, really do rinse them under the cold tap. Get all of that seasoning off and pat them as dry as possible. And now choose a dish. The dish that I cured them in would have been better because I wouldn't have had to use as much oil or fat. But it would have been spilling over. Now that is lard. I keep lard in the thing and then what I do is I just warmed that up so it was liquid. And uh, But duck fat would be better, goose fat. You can just use oil but don't try to use butter, it'll burn, all right? A bit of parchment on the top and a bit of foil over that. Place it on a tray in case you spill it and you don't want that sort of fat spilling on your oven, it'll make a right mess. Three hours, and I put the temperature there, but it was 150 centigrade, 300 approximately Fahrenheit. So I had some shallots left over from my last video. I thought, well, I'll use those in a garnish. So I've got some shallots there, so some garlic went in, some cider, and some tomato. And I thought that would be a really, really nice sort of stew, which after that's had about, that was about an hour and a half gently cooking. I put in with some pre cooked beans, like canned beans. There were butter beans and cannellini, if I can say that right. And yeah, that's a nice garnish. And there, so here we go, three hours. Here's the test, right? You wanna be able to wiggle the thigh bone. It's just loose, yes, it's just loose. If you don't wanna cook it too much more than that because it might fall apart a bit. So now let it rest in that as that fat cools down as well. So give it 20 minutes to rest in the fat. And now I've turned up my oven because I wanna get these now really, really crispy. You can do them in a pan, but I would just suggest do this in the oven. So onto our baking sheet, the oven's a bit higher, 10 minutes or so. Yeah, Drain off your oil because all your fats are in. You can reuse that several times. Place it, oh, look at that. I mean, you know, it looks nice, doesn't it? But it's a bit of a bistro dish, but it just elevates it. And 
while you hear that crack and crunch and then you see that succulent duck meat underneath you know it's going to be time to hand you over to me for the tasting but just oh look, look oh look at that mmm yum and what's that skin like it's a bit crunchy hmm so duck confi confi duck whichever way around you say it is no question it's still a delicious this time is the first time i ever had it uh, it's wonderful uh, i love duck anyway and the difference when you confit the duck leg it's just so soft and succulent and flavorsome yeah it could wax lyrical all day about it um i just knocked together some simple sort of beans to go with it but you know it goes with potatoes rice polenta is very nice anyway so i won't go on any more here um i do hope you give confit duck a try anyway so thank you if you're still here and listening and watching to me thank you so much liking and sharing and subscribing all of these things commenting is what's going to help this channel maybe one day uh, really start to grow i have had a lot of attention lately still from the bread and butter pudding recipe but it doesn't seem to be translating into my other recipes and there's plenty of them and in I think they're a bit better. Anyway, uh, here's hoping that happens one day. Thank you ever so much, and I'll catch you again pretty soon. Bye. Mm.